Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today I just want to do a quick video. Hopefully it's quick. I'll try to fast forward through a lot of this stuff, but on this Soft Soul Instant Cleaner. So I got this um, over at Finish Line. Um, I believe that's where they sell it. I don't know if they sell it other places, but um, I got this in a package with waterproofer and some other stuff. I put it in a video a while back. I don't remember what video it was. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I actually finally used it, and I used it the other night. I was cleaning up my room. Um, my Reebok questions were the they had the clear sole. They were filthy on the bottom. I have I don't clean my shoes really like ever, um, and for some reason I just decided to clean them. And this stuff like basically took all of the dirt off. Um, a lot of people misinterpreted that for a solution for yellowing. Um, this is just a cleaner. This is not this is not something that removes yellowing. So get that straight like right off the bat um, this will not you know remove yellow from any of the shoes um, what I did I don't have too many shoes that are like real dirty dirty but um, I got these these are noticeably like you could see the marks on there and all that stuff again I don't really clean my shoes so um, I figured that this might be a good example to show like what this stuff can actually do what the hell is that? Yeah, so like there's like mushed up berry gunk in there. That's something that this won't be able to do. I'll have to take that out with like a like a stick or something. But um yeah, I'm just gonna clean I'm just gonna clean these edges up and all that stuff just to show just to show how to work this stuff. I'm sure that most of you guys already do it, but just to show like how it cleans and stuff like that. It, it didn't take me too long to do the soles. I didn't barely even scrub. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So basically all I've done is just set up, um, I like to do this, I just prep with uh, something underneath whatever I'm cleaning on top of, that way I don't ruin the surface, and I just took an extra paper towel, um, this is two, two paper towels, and I just fold it into um, like a square, and all that stuff, it, This you could take like a regular towel and all that stuff, um, but I just do this just because it's easier for me to hold and then wipe it. So remove the cap, put it over here. Shake this guy up a little bit. And then you just spray on the shoe. This stuff is pretty safe for materials. Um, I wouldn't probably, I'd try to avoid getting this on a new buck or suede, but um, for most materials, it's pretty safe. I just let it sit there for a second. I'll probably just do a little bit thicker right there. Um, but just let it sit there for a second and let the foam kind of attract to the dirt and it'll try to pull it up. And then if you need to use the scrubber. Once you're done with that you just take your wipe or your, your towel and then you wipe off the foam. You could rinse it too if you wanted to, like if you were next to a sink, which is probably more ideal than what I'm doing right now. Um, but you just wipe it off, and you can see the dirt that comes off on it, hopefully. And this is just after the first, the first cleaning, so... Um, like with something like this, where like I've never cleaned it before, you might want to do a secondary coat and see what happens after that. So we'll do that. Okay, then you just wipe it off one more time. Or rinse. Either, either one. Or both. So and just a quick little scrub down and these things are uh, a ton cleaner than what they were so here's just a before and after I guess so this is also a good way to clean your basketball sneakers um, like to keep the traction good so one of the ways to 
keep your traction uh, longer lasting um, is to just basically clean off the soles every so often. Um, I don't tend to do it too much like anymore just because I don't really get to stay with a pair. Um, you know, like I, I performance test it and then after that, like I don't typically get to go back to it. Um, so, but if I was going to have one pair and like have to have that pair for the full season, I usually would, would wash the bottom of my shoes uh, once a week. That way it would lengthen the life of the traction. It would just keep it going, uh, keep it clean, keep it debris free, and all of that stuff. So hopefully that's a hopefully that's a good uh, example or something. I'm not really I'm not really a restored person. Like I said, I don't really clean my shoes. Um, I don't you know really dog a lot of the shoes that I have. I kind of like like these ones here. I like I wear them like once in a while. So. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully the light's not taking it like away and all that stuff. Maybe I could try to block some of the light. But um, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this helped. I think that this cleaner is pretty cool. Um, I could probably finish cleaning these now because now that that part's clean, this shoe looks filthy. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much what it is. Um, I like this stuff. It's pretty cheap too. I wish it came in a bigger can. Um, but yeah, that's that's what it is. It's a it's a decent cleaner, and um, especially for a foam cleaner, it's probably one of the better foam cleaners I've used. Um, and all that stuff. I used to just buy the the stuff that's over at like Target or whatever. But this stuff is a little bit better than that. I think the brand that I used to use is like Kiwi or something like that. So, uh, but yeah, this kind of stuff is great. Um, I do use magic erasers every once in a while, which are also very good. Um, however, you have to keep the magic eraser away from paint. Um, so like this area here, this is paint, and then you got to just, or I don't know if it's paint now. It used to be paint. I don't know if it still is, but you got to keep it away from that area. Just clean the sole. And the bot, uh, the bad thing about the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is that when you do tend to like scrub it, uh, that thing just crumbles into pieces and it makes a huge mess. So something like this is just a little bit easier to use and to clean up. So. Uh, again, people were requesting this video. I don't really do this kind of stuff. I don't expect me to do like reviews on cleaners and things like that because this is not my forte. I'm not into this stuff. I hardly clean my shoes. Um, I'm just doing it because people requested it after they saw uh, what I did with my Reebok questions. Um, I, again, I cleaned the bottom of the sole and it looked really great. Um, but it, this is not for, for yellowing. Um, if you do have a clear sole, however, keeping the bottom of it clean uh, regularly is a way to prevent... Uh, I wouldn't say prevent, but it's it's a way to uh, prolong its life. Uh, so it'll stay clean and clear longer um, the more that you uh, keep it clean. So hopefully that helps. Thank you guys for watching, and thanks for all your support. So until next time, guys, have a good one.